Mr. Speaker, I ask my colleagues to join me in welcoming Imam Hamed Hamed Shebli, the Imam of the Islamic Society of Central New Jersey in South Brunswick, New Jersey. Imam Shebli has been both a friend and an ambassador of Islam to me and many others in New Jersey. Imam Shebli is a native of Lebanon and attended one of the most prestigious Islamic institutions in the world, Al-Hazar University in Cairo, Egypt, where he received his master's in Islamic canonical law. He's been the religious leader of ISCJ since 1986, where he makes Muslims and non-Muslims feel welcome. The depth of his faith and scholarship, his commanding dignity, and the warmth of his personality make him the most prominent and attractive figure of Islam in our region. In a period where the public understanding of Islam has grown greatly, we are fortunate to have Imam, Imam Shebli in our community. He has worked hard to build interfaith dialogue and public understanding, serving as a member of the North Brunswick and South Brunswick Diversity Committee and of the Regional Clergy Association. Most recently, New Jersey's governor appointed Imam Shebli to the governor's leadership summit on diversity. He and I have a friendship and association that has lasted many years, especially since September 2001, and I greatly value our friendship. Imam Shebli is the proud husband of Mona Rich, the love, and he's the loving father of their six children, Ahmad, Muhammad, Mariam, Mahmoud, Khalid, and Marwa, and the loving grandfather to seven grandchildren. Through his inspiring prayer this morning, we can all gain wisdom and guidance. I yield back. The prayer will be offered today by our guest chaplain, Iman Hamad Shabli, Islamic Society of Central New Jersey, Monmouth Junction, New Jersey. The peace and the blessings of Allah be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Praise be to Allah, the cherisher, the sustainer of the world. The most gracious, the most merciful, master of the day of judgment. Thee do we worship, and thine aid we seek. Guide us to the straight path. The God of all the prophets and the messenger says in the Quran, he does not place a responsibility on you greater than you can bear. Everyone will receive the good they have earned and vice versa. Let us pray. O oh God, bless us as we begin a new day. Bless this assembly. Bless the people and nation it represents. O oh God, at this time in our history, the challenges for our nation and the world are many. O oh God, Grant these men and women the wisdom, the guidance, and the strength to pursue compassion, justice, and sound judgment. O oh God, in your wisdom, you have placed upon them a great responsibility and honor. O oh God, please help them with your guidance and your light. O oh God, grant them the will and the means to improve the well-being of all inhabitants of this great nation and beyond. Amen. <laughs>